I just uh, summarize my Sharada Peetham trip. Okay. I think uh, you are all interested to know. Uh, but uh, the subject what we are discussing uh, has uh, you know, a different uh, mood and different relation with the mind. And when we talk something like this, it takes uh, another realm. It's, it's like, you no, know, it's a different uh, storytelling. So when we talk about uh, the existence of Brahman, it's something uh, directly connecting with the our own uh, existence, our own experiences, feelings. And when we uh, talk about uh, the outside experiences, what we call as, you know, like uh, uh, Yatra experiences and all other experiences, it's, it's a little different. Okay, anyway, so first of all, I say, I feel very fortunate and very glad to attend the program, which uh, happened there in uh, Sharda Peetham. As you all know, Sarvatya Peetha, Sarvatya Sharada Peetha is at presently it is in park occupied Kashmir. You okay what we call. So we uh, now what we see uh, what where we did all this program is just in LOC the border of Pakistan and uh, Bharat. The name of the village is Thithwal. The so Thithwal, what they pronounce as Thithwal, uh, the Sanskrit name would be Tirthabela. Tirthabela. That is what we uh, changed the name. The teeth wall become teeth wall is very famous there because it's a border village. In that village, uh, like uh, maybe like 35 40 houses, and we can call it like 40 families living in a small village. It is uh, nearly 200 kilometer away, 200 kilometer north of Srinagar. It's just, no, Pakistan, like uh, what we say, the Pakistan the border. There flows Krishna Ganga, a river flows there. This side of river is Bharat, and the opposite side is Pakistan. So we can see the village, the Pakistan village there, no, just uh, opposite. And there also they have all border security forts and all the you know, things. And we have all the uh, all our uh, military security forces here. And it's all villages uh, looked after. Uh, by military forces only. So we traveled uh, from Jammu to Srinagar and uh, stayed in one of our uh, uh, devotees' house in Srinagar. And from there, early morning, 21st of June, we started uh, towards this Tithwal village. So Thithwal village, on the way, we cross a 
pass called uh, sadhana pass say hill top where our military has all this security you know what you say the border securities force and uh, they are all there so we pass that sadhana uh, peak and then uh, down like uh, again uh, maybe 50 40 kilometers away that's we reach this village so this village this all these 40 houses they are all uh, follow uh, muslims no they are uh, muslim religion they follow now muslims previously they were all uh, it is said they were all Hindus, but now they are for many, many years they converted into Muslims. So in that village, on the east side of that village, is this temple and uh, Sharada Pitham temple, which was built last year. And that particular land, the piece of land, was in the name of Hindus only, but uh, there was temple before 47, 1947 before independence. The temple and uh, all the system was there, but after 47, you all know what happened and uh, that was demolished and everything was, uh, not, there is no remainings there. But uh, last year, the people of that area and the community we call uh, Kashmiri Pandit community. So they made a, a, no, a, a unit or committee called the Save Sharda Committee. So this Save Sharda Committee, they uh, found out the place because they know that the place was belongs to Hindus from their forefathers. So they found out all the records from the government because uh, last uh, two years before the system of governing there changed uh, by the uh, central government of India. So it, it, uh, it affected in a good way. So they could uh, get all the records of that place and then uh, they did uh, effort for to build a temple there. And uh, our uh, Shankara Peethas, especially Sringeri Petha, took all the responsibility and all what you say, all the uh, responsibility to build that temple. And Sringeri Petha only made that temple and all that uh, uh, the stones and everything was took from Bangalore all the way to Tithwa. So you can just imagine, you build a temple with stone, black stone, and all those stones are dressed and made and by, uh, by road they took all those there. Oh, lakhs of rupees they spent just to uh, build that temple. And uh, then last year, uh, in the same time, in this month only, they installed the murti there, the vigraha. Now it's reminds. And one pujari uh, does puja, daily puja. And he's staying there. He's from uh, Uttarakhand only. So he's staying there and doing the puja. So the program we attended was the annual program. The first uh, uh, what we call after uh, uh, establishing a temple the first uh, year of that uh, temple is called Kumbhabhishekam. So we did all Kumbhabhishekam all the pandits, Brahmins, Veda parties came from Sringeri Mat. And by the guidance of Sringeri, uh, 
श्री श्री स्वामी जी दे डिड ऑल द कर्मकांडा देर ऑल द कर्मकांडा परफेक्टली ऑल द व्हाट यू से द व्हाट एवर द सामग्रीज व्हाट एवर नीडेड एवरीथिंग दे ब्रॉट फ्रॉम श्रृंगेरी even uh wood for no firewood for homa they brought from singeri so everything was brought from singeri and uh, very uh, perfectly uh, it was a uh, different experience after a long time they all saw how the havan and puja and all this happens and then very special what what about the, the event is very special about the event is the shastrartha shastrartha means the debate on different subjects of our scriptures so this was uh happened uh, maybe some 700 years before the all uh, discussion debate in sanskrit so three days we had continuous debate program for which uh, the kashmir was famous world famous so bhagavad pada shankaracharya ji also was uh, no adored and respected as the sarvajna sarvajna peetha so he entered into this uh, shastra debates it means in those days in kashmir there were so many pundits of different subjects if we see our scriptures we can see there are so many names of acharyas from kashmir this was the glory of kashmir so bhagavad pada shankaracharya ji went there to enter into this shastra engage into this shastra you can imagine in even in those days how many pandits were there but now unfortunately it's uh, everything we lost everything there but by the blessings of sharda by the blessings of our guru parampara by the great blessings of shringeri sanidhanam samikal we could uh, do this shastra debates or revive we can say this shastra debates with this program in this program so we did uh, all uh, vyakaranam and uh, nyaya vaisheshika mimamsa vedanta and kavyas and all those so many varieties everything is recorded they will uh, make a uh, separate uh, videos of that so this was the program there and uh, the accommodation and food was a problem because there is no space for accommodation so we are all we all stayed in military camps so they have uh, like uh, a cultural center there uh, the privileged people so we stayed in a like a hall uh, there and all the pandits maybe 30 35 uh scholars came from different parts of bharat so they all stayed there uh and the food and everything was arranged uh, from south indian cooks and they came and all the uh, material brought from south india everything from uh, singeri it was arranged so it was very you no know, what do you say the lifetime experience and we were four sadhus only four swamis and uh, we were all protected by bill trees because uh, the opposite they, they have this uh, 
uh, Pakistan uh, military and they uh, in the beginning because we wanted to uh, take holy bath on in that river. So in the first day, they opposed it. The Pakistan military did not allow us to take bath because the uh, the half of the river is there and half of the uh, the river is ours. So if whatever we want to do, we, we have to take the permission of the Pakistan. And uh, the neighbors, you know, they wanted to make a pathway uh, to enter into the river and uh, for the people to take bath. So they shooted from there two days before. So the people, labor, the neighbors were working there. They shooted. Uh, and then there was a tension in between, uh, but uh, our military, they did not react because our, if they react, then there is going to be a trouble. You know? uh, the, war, the war situation will come. So therefore, to protect our program and protect our people, they remain quiet and then uh, somehow they managed. After that, they informed them Actually, before also they informed because they know everything, whatever is happening, they know uh, everything. But then they had a discussion and then uh, they allowed. So 10 people at a time. So they can go and uh, take bath. So like that, we could go uh, like uh, 10 group, group of people. They then and we uh, did the bath and all this happened. So uh, then the puja, as I have uh, shared many photos, I think some of you have uh, seen those photos, uh, you know, beautifully decorated and they brought all the flowers from South, from Bangalore and then And every day, it's amazing how they arrange this. And the people there who came, the Pandits and who are came, uh, the local pundits, Kashmiri pundits, because like uh, 40 to 50, 50 people were there, 50 families. So they they said in my in their lifetime they are first they are seeing it first time like no flowers many of the flowers they have not seen those flowers so the color and the, the decoration all this everybody was very happy and especially uh, when uh, we think about those people the Kashmiri Pandits, Hindus. So we can't uh, really uh, how they were suffering and even today their fear and you know, they have like, like they are uh, we cannot imagine how they are suffering from inside. They lost their family, they lost their uh, uh, village, they can't go back to their village, they can't go to their uh, no, uh, temples. So, like, you know, they are like separated people. They have no support, nobody understands their pain, everybody is doing politics and all those. So, uh, they got so much energy, energized by this puja and all this event. Because in lifetime now, as I said, it's happening after 700 years. Because one of their historians the, who did a, a PhD on Kashmir, uh, Pandit's history and the history of Kashmir, he was there, he was present there. So he uh, studied and then he said, this event is happening after like uh, maybe uh, a thousand years before. Or of seven hundred years, so it's it's uh, such a such an experience. Mm -hmm. So they are all very happy, and uh, now slowly things will change because now when we started this, so slowly things will change. So on twenty fifth, we concluded the program uh, with a uh, no, Patha. So, so people who came, the pandits, they wrote poems, and uh, that is what uh, we 
but uh, what we mean this uh, uh, debate of shastra or the scriptural debates at the end of that they do this uh, poetry and offer this poetry to sharda that was the tradition so that ha happened and we all learned it, uh, some poetries and i also wrote like uh, five shlokas of sharda so i will uh, send you later and we will make a video of that so some uh, sanskrit shlokas in the praise of uh, sharda ma so that way uh this was a great event to not describe how it happened and the news went over all, all the all the country like no says a even from un uh, they got some message from un because this event is not a lo uh, localized event it's like uh, it's happening in the lower sea of pakistan and it goes all over the world so people they all reacted from all over the world yeah this is what uh, in the in this time i could uh, say uh, yeah we will get more information and i will uh, share my other experiences you know in next classes okay so now we have crossed the time i think uh, we can stop here are you oh or namatah or namritam पूर्णमुदश्यते पूर्णमुदश्य श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः Are you